a reading from the book of Revelation. In my vision I looked, and there was a white cloud, and sitting on the cloud was one like the Son of Man, with a golden crown on his head and a sharp sickle in his hand. Another angel came out of the temple, calling with a loud voice to the one who sat on the cloud, Use your sickle and tree, for the hour to reap has come, because the harvest of the, of the earth is fully ripe. So the one who sat on the cloud swung his sickle over to the earth, and the earth was reaped. Then another angel came out of the temple in heaven, and he too had a sharp sickle. Then another angel came out from the altar, the, under, the, the angel who had authority over fire, and he called with a loud voice to him who had the sharp sickle, Use your sharp sickle, and gather the clusters of the wine of the earth for its grapes are ripe. So the angel swung his sickle over the earth and gathered the vintage of the earth, and he threw it into the great winepress of the wrath of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm, The Lord comes to judge the earth. The Lord comes to judge the earth. Say among the nations, the Lord is King, the world is firmly established, it shall never be moved, He will judge the peoples with equity. The Lord comes to judge the earth. Let the heavens be glad, and let the earth rejoice, let the sea roar, and all that fills it, let the field exult, and everything in it, then shall all the trees of the forest sing for joy. The Lord comes to judge the earth. The Lord is coming, He is coming to judge the earth. He will judge the world with righteousness and the peoples with His truth. The Lord, the Lord comes to judge the earth. The earth. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. When some were speaking about the temple, how it was adorned with beautiful stones and gifts dedicated to God, Jesus said, As for these things that you see, the days will come when not one stone will be left upon another, all will be thrown down. They asked him, Teacher, when will this be, and what will be the sign that this is about to take place? And Jesus said, Beware that you are not led astray, for many will come in my name and say, I am he, and the time is near. Do not go after them. When you hear of wars and insurrections, do not be terrified, for these things must take place, uh, take place first, but the end will not follow immediately. Then Jesus said to them, Nation will rise against nation, and, the, and kingdom against kingdom. There will be great earthquakes, and in various places famines and plagues, and there will be dreadful portents and great signs from heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. The first reading is from the, the book of Revelation, and uh, so it is speaking about the end of the world, in, uh, so again in, a, so in different terms or in different images. But we hear about that angel who came with, uh, with his sharp sickle, to harvest uh, the, 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 the harvest to gather the harvest for the Lord, and then another uh, uh, angel comes with a sharp sickle, and uh, he, uh, uh, he gathers that other part of the uh, of the harvest, that other growth, and he threw it into the great wine press of the wrath of God, and uh, and from here. We see in the first place that yes, it was always the uh, that faith that uh, the, the end will come. There was uh, the uh, the judgment, the uh, that separation of the good and evil uh, will come. The the good will be, will be rewarded, and the, uh, the, uh, the evil will be uh, punished. So it is uh, so that is again another another confirmation of that belief that was always present. And, uh, and yes, uh, we uh, have to uh, to remember that. Yes, those options are uh, sadly open to all of us. We always have to have uh, in front of our eyes or in our mind uh, that uh, the memory that, uh, yes, 
uh, I'm able to do something wrong and, uh, and uh, I shall make my decisions and uh, in those decisions, uh, according to those decisions, I will, I will be one day rewarded with good or evil according to what I do. And uh, nobody, nobody can say that uh, for me there is only have no, I am saved. Uh, so it is uh, the, the, one of the, uh, the, of the sins against the Holy Spirit. And uh, so actually so there are two of them in this, uh, in this area. One is the presumption of the salvation and the other is despair. And uh, both of them are sins that are, uh, the Lord himself uh, says that they are unforgivable. Uh, and it is not that the Lord cannot forgive them, but uh, it is uh, the you know, indisposition of the, uh, of the individual that uh, simply cannot or does not, does not look for the salvation, does not look for what the Lord has brought us. And uh, so the, the one who assumes or presumes the salvation does not need uh, anybody, does not need the church, does not need uh, the, the, the sacraments, does not need anything. He knows already that uh, everything is okay or that uh, he's doing well and uh, he knows that he will go to heaven and everything uh, is done. So it's, it is a presumption. If someone does not need God's grace and does not need uh, even God's forgiveness, what the Lord has brought us, uh, that's, uh, that's the sure way to be lost. And it cannot be forgiven because that uh, uh, person will never ask for forgiveness, never turn to the, to the Lord for his mercy. And only through the mercy we will be saved. And then there is that other extreme and it also happens that someone despairs and thinks that uh, I have done so much evil, I have done something so evil that I cannot be forgiven. And uh, they don't turn to the Lord uh, because they simply believe that uh, it is too much for his mercy. And uh, the gain. Uh, so the uh, mercy of the Lord is infinite, yes, he can, uh, he can forgive everything, but uh, we have to go for it. And, uh, and of course we are somewhere in between those, these two extremes, that presumption or total presumption of the salvation, total despair. We are somewhere in the middle of it and we have to remember that, yes, uh, we have to ask the Lord to guide us, to, to, to help us, to follow the path of the truth, the path of, the, the path of salvation. We have to ask also for his mercy, because uh, although we, we may have some goodwill, we also have some weak moments and uh, we need to, to ask for forgiveness. On the other side, yes, we, uh, so we have to be careful not to fall <coughs> in a kind of, uh, of uh, you know, despair that uh, no, there, is, there is no hope for me, no, I cannot do better. And uh, so that I cannot do better is, is quite common in, uh, among the certain other Christians. Even among those who regularly come to the church, go, uh, go to the sacraments, and uh, in some of the aspects of their life, they say, no, that, uh, it is my, uh, my bad habit or, you know, with my wife, with my children, with my parents or whatever, with my job, I cannot do better. And it is uh, also that uh, despair that I cannot do better. Yes, we can do better. We can do better, uh, again, strengthened and uh, supported by the grace of God. And so uh, that uh, uh, the Lord will come at the end of the life. We have to, uh, to remember it. And it is not to scare us. It is not to give us some false sense of security. It is just to have these two things uh, always in mind. And uh, when we make some decisions, we have to, uh, to make them with that, uh, with that sense of responsibility that yes, it is important and uh, it matters what I decide. And uh, on the other side, we have to, uh, to remember that yes, for those weak moments or for those moments of, uh, of some, uh, some sins, uh, so we have to, uh, to go to the Lord and ask, ask for His mercy, for, for His forgiveness, seek the reconciliation and continue with Him. But then in the Gospel we hear about uh, the, 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 the end of Jerusalem and end of the world. And uh, it is the Lord himself who is speaking there. First, he is uh, responding to some people who, uh, who had uh, uh, some fa false hope. They were uh, uh, no, so speaking about uh, the, the, the temple, how it was adorned in beautiful stones and gifts dedicated to God. Yes, it was, and uh, it was uh, their pride. It was uh, also uh, their faith that yes, they have built a beautiful temple, and the Lord is dwelling in their midst. 
And so it, it gave them even that uh, false sense of security that nothing can happen to us. And uh, we cannot go so far in that, uh, in that security. Yes, it is good to, to be close to the Lord. But, uh, so yes, uh, we also have to remember that uh, being close to the Lord does not mean that we are all holy. And uh, so yes, even some, uh, some uh, difficult moments, some tragedies, some, uh, some sins can occur. And this is what, what the Lord is speaking about. That, uh, that, so to think that just because the temple is here, it is not, uh, not a security. I know I was, uh, I was in Italy, and uh, the Italians uh, so many times with a kind of, of cynicism, they say that uh, the Holy Father is here, so uh, we, cannot, uh, we cannot fail, we cannot uh, lose. And, uh, and yes, they, they can lose. Because the trouble is that, yes, the Holy Father physically is there, but how many listen to him? And uh, that, that sense of, uh, yes, someone is here, or some, uh, something is here that will save me, you know, uh, th there is no security in this, uh, in this physical presence or in this physical uh, the closeness. And then what the Lord says, uh, he says that the day will come when the, uh, one stone will be, uh, won't be left upon the other. And uh, yes, uh, it is that uh, the destruction or uh, that total loss that can happen to anything and any, uh, anywhere, anytime. And it is, uh, uh, we see it at a uh, great scale, for example, uh, in, the, uh, in the times when Jesus was speaking, there was that most powerful Roman Imperium that was uh, filling the, the whole world. And uh, a few years later, uh, that Roman Imperium uh, start, started to collapse and, uh, and finally disappeared. Did not disappeared because it was overcome or it would be overcome by, uh, by some enemies. It simply decayed. And we have seen along the history of the, the, the human history so many powerful uh, states, powerful, powerful organizations, powerful uh, you know, places that uh, disappeared and uh, did, not let, uh, did not leave anything uh, uh, behind them. So it is, uh, it is uh, just a, that reminder that we cannot, uh, we cannot trust that you know, I will be or I will, I will make it, I will be here forever. Uh, uh, we have to think about the end. Now uh, there will be some signs that uh, the, the, you know, the people were asking the Lord, Teach, uh, Teacher, what will this be and what will be the signs uh, that it is about to take place? And, uh, and Jesus is saying, beware that you are not led astray, for many will come in my name and say, I am he and the time is near. Do not go after them. And it is uh, in all times that uh, we, it is part of the human nature, uh, just trying to, to find what will happen next day or what will happen next week. We have seen that now for, uh, for at least one year, so the, the whole, not to the whole world, that, uh, most of the people really don't care. But uh, so at least the media were full. Who will be the next American president? Who will be the next? Uh, well, whatever happens, it's, uh, so it is still a man, and uh, no matter who is there, uh, finally he doesn't have such an authority, and so uh, he's handled by others, so it's, uh, it doesn't make such a difference. But it was what will happen? What will happen? That anxiety. But it is, uh, it is also about uh, the, the future that we have even more personally. And what will happen with me? Uh, what will happen with, uh, with my, uh, my job, with my, uh, with my family? What will happen with my health? What will, uh, there are so many questions that we, we ask. We want to know what will happen tomorrow. And uh, the Lord says, but, uh, don't, uh, don't be you know, panicking. And, uh, and especially don't follow some of those false prophets who come. With, uh, with lies or manipulating us in, uh, in some way or uh, fear mongering and, uh, and uh, wants to, uh, to take advantage of us. And uh, the, the Lord continues, he says, when you hear of wars and insurrections, do not be terrified, for these things might take, uh, must take uh, place first, but the end will not follow immediately. Here, when you hear of wars and insurrections, it is interesting to, 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 to read in the Holy Scripture that it is at the beginning of the, of the history of, uh, of David, that uh, it is in the Book of Kings, that it was in the spring when the kings used to go for the war. And uh, so it is when the kings used to go. So it was a kind of entertainment. Yes, the war was always here, 
and it, uh, war wars, uh, wars were always here, and they were not waged because uh, there was some, some real interest. It was a kind of entertainment. And when we look at the, at the human history, most of, time, most of the time it was really not, not fighting for anything, uh, anything serious. It was a kind of entertainment and uh, the political interest in, uh, in so many ways. And, uh, and yes, uh, thousands or even millions of people were sacrificed for nothing. And, uh, and the world returned to the previous order and, uh, and nothing had happened. So the wars were here and, uh, and just to think that some <laughs> war is, is worse than the other, uh, all of them are bad uh, uh, no, because they, all of them uh, create victims, innocent victims, and uh, make the people suffer. All of them violate uh, one of the basic commandments, do not kill. So it is, uh, so the wars were here and uh, are here and sadly uh, will be here. Now, uh, so the, uh, the, the trouble in, uh, in our modern time is, and uh, it is with the wars and, and the insurrections and and uh, uh, earthquakes and famines and, and so on. But uh, we think, oh, now, now it, is, uh, it is really the worst and uh, we cannot do better. So it must be the end of the world. And we see some of the, uh, some of the people that, uh, that are really taking advantage of it and uh, they, uh, they try to, uh, to use this fear that, uh, for, again, for their advantage. And uh, so it is, uh, so, uh, the, the, there is no difference from the past. Uh, the earthquake was, or, was or always there. So even Jesus is speaking about them. And uh, the wars were always here. Famines were always there. So nothing, has, uh, nothing has happened. The only difference is that, uh, that uh, when there was a, a war or insurrection, let's say in the times of Jesus, when there was something in the, in the Holy Land, before the, the new came to Rome, it was all over and, uh, and uh, nothing had happened. Now, uh, whatever happens, within minutes we, we know around the world that something is, uh, is happening and, uh, and so, so uh, we see immediately all kind of, of hysterias and, uh, and uh, even, uh, even uh, reactions that are totally, totally brainless. So we see that uh, so there is some kind of riot on the street, and, uh, and, uh, and so the stock market is uh, is going uh, uh, going out of control. And uh, there are so, there are so many ways how to manipulate uh, manipulate the human minds and how to use the, uh, the events for uh, for uh, some advantage that is really undue. And uh, so. so we only know about it and we know about it more and so we think that oh yes, the, so now the, the end must be here. The Lord says you will hear about it and so now we hear about it more because we have better uh, means of communication but it is not you know, that the, uh, the end is coming but it is a reminder. It is a reminder just, just to be serious and to remember that yes, the end is coming for, also for me, but it is not to lose the, the mind and to, to panic or to, you know, to fall in some, uh, some hysteria. We have seen just, just a few days ago with that, uh, that hurricane that hit the United States. In reality, those, those politicians and all kind of, of kind of liars and crooks started with, oh yes, global warming and we have to do something and the, and the government and we must do this and we must do that. But uh, the, the real, real data from the uh, national, uh, it is some, uh, some organization of the, uh, of the ocean and, uh, oceans and, uh, and weather patterns, uh, it, is, uh, uh, it is part of the official it's the establishment of the American government. And it uh, keeps track of all the, all the uh, no, uh, events in the, uh, in the atmosphere, in the oceans and, and so on. So they said very clearly that, uh, so that there was absolutely no change in the temperature of the ocean. And yes, uh, the hurricanes were always happening before, they, they happened even this time. And, uh, and finally we even hear that yes, uh, this flood or this, uh, this or that had happened 30 years ago, 50 years ago. And, uh, and all these things are, were already here. But now they are used, uh, used for some political purposes and, uh, and advantages. And uh, there are uh, so many things that uh, uh, the, the end of the world is here. It is not. It is not. And uh, uh, it is a reminder that, yes, uh, the, uh, the world will end for each of us. 
And uh, then we have to remember that uh, it is not the end as a kind of destruction and the total loss. No, it is the Lord who is coming and who is coming to take us with Him. And uh, to take us with Him and, uh, yes, to take us with Him for the reward or for uh, no reward, uh, for, uh, for the punishment. And uh, those reminders should, uh, should uh, help us to make the right decisions every time we make a decision every day and uh, should also remind us that how much we need to be in, uh, in good relationships with the Lord, uh, how much we need to, uh, to, uh, to even to seek His mercy. The Spaniards, so in, uh, it is also the common in, the, in, Latin, uh, in Latin America, they have their uh, saying uh, 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 that, that the Lord, okay, que, que el Señor nos coja bien confesados. And it means, uh, so may the Lord catch us well confessed. And uh, so it is uh, whatever comes, uh, so if I'm at peace with the Lord, uh, that, uh, that's okay. And uh, so this is how we have to see even those news about some, uh, some disasters, tragedies, deaths, and, uh, and how many uh, painful things, but yes, they certainly definitely are not, uh, not some, a big pleasure. But yes, they happen, and it is uh, all that, that world that is affected by the sin and uh, so, no, so that went out of control or uh, drifted out of control of the Lord. And uh, yes, we, uh, we have to, uh, to see these signs only as a, a reminder and uh, as an invitation to come closer and closer to the Lord.